Right, I want now to show you something that really takes me back to when I was a very young man and my first love. I know it's going to make me sound very boring, but my first love was Georgian furniture. I used to buy things like this, literally lie underneath them with the torch and examine the way these things were put together. It used to blow my mind, the quality, and it genuinely still does. And Georgian, 1714 to 1830, in British history is my favourite time. And this fold over card table, half moon card table, fits in nicely. If I was going to be really pedantic, it doesn't quite work because it's not Georgian, work with me. It's in the Georgian style. It's Edwardian 1901 to 1910, and it's a copy of a Georgian thing that looks like it was made in about 1770, George III, out of interest my favourite king. I know he went a bit bonkers because he lost the American colonies. That really made him suffer. If you're watching in America, you are responsible for George III going bonkers. He really didn't like the fact that he lost his American colonies. But out of the four Georges, he was probably the nicest. And I know this because I've been writing about the Georges recently. But anyway, I digress. Anyway, George III, 1770 in style, but made in around 1910. It's a reproduction. Now, reproduction should not be a dirty word. Reproductions have been created for literally thousands of years. The Romans, 2,000 years ago, used to reproduce pieces from the Greek culture. So a reproduction is nothing new. So in the Edwardian time, good Georgian furniture was really expensive. And so they started making copies. And this is a genuine antique reproduction of an earlier antique. And it's £110. It's so bonkers. It's ridiculous. And it's incredibly elegant. So you can see you've got the baize top. So it's a card games table as opposed to a tea table which would be all mahogany and it's made from mahogany a very expensive wood which was first introduced to british cabinet making in 1730 so it was always very expensive had to be imported from the tropics to get here strung in satin wood inlaid with that typical georgian design which is just so terribly elegant fold over top push the leg in and you can use it as a side lamp table and if you've got any friends you can invite them round to your home pull the leg out get the candles out do it properly under candlelight have a game of cards and it's we're coming up to christmas this is the perfect christmas table if you want to buy a really lovely gift for somebody what better gift to buy someone a functional table that's not only gorgeous, it's phenomenally cheap, would cost thousands of pounds to make, and with a great backstory, because all antiques come with stories. All you've got to do is Google Georgian card tables, and you will discover some fabulously funny, real stories connected to Georgian card tables. So this table can become an heirloom, an heirloom in your home for a hundred quid. I don't even own it. I'm doing a selling thing and I don't own it. I'm just saying that it's just a lovely thing and it's for no money. Go and buy it.